Good morning, it's Maggie Davis, aka Mini Minx, on YouTube and the captain. Um, I was going to share with you this little video, um, it's on my brother Scam and Cut CM900. I thought um, it would be good to show you something that I made on this. Now, it's actually these little things, round the edges that I've put on this just to show you, and they can be used. Um, they're actually really cute. I've just did them in various different papers. You could add them on a card, add them to a, a junk journal, traveller's notebook, etc. And I've used my scanning cut to put them um, on. And basically, like that's like a label, isn't it? Like a coat, one of those coat signs. And you could write something in there and then slip it on. When you slip it on, like the traveller's notebook or whatever, you would slip it in like that. And then when the person gets it, they could read what you've put in it. But you could also do it the opposite way like that. And it is entirely up to yourself. Um, so I've snuck these onto that, but I've used them in a junk journal. I've um, tried them out in cards and I thought they were really cute. And they're, they're actually here on my brother's scanning cut. So I'm going to quickly show you it. But here there are a couple on a card. Just placed them down the side. There's a little birdie there as well. A little bird. On it. it could go up the top because I'd already placed those ones it'd actually be quite cute at the top so we'll do it upside down here just do it you see see it on there it's very nice and of course I'm working on a junk journal at the minute it's um, one by Genevieve designs it is a traveler's notebook um, journal with um, inserts inside attachable inserts inside and I have used these in here I'll see if I could quickly show when I've not finished this it's just something I'm working on at the minute yeah so there's what I've put the little figure there it's a little person there in it and put it in and um, I've still got some things to do on this um, what's the written pages but this is my first one I'm doing on this and it's large and I'm keeping it for myself and um, when I then from there on I might do um, ones for other people but I could just quickly show you something again so you could stick that anywhere on it like I've got a big tag here you could place it on the tag you could place it here on these little things and um, it's entirely up to yourself and I thought they were quite cute so and I'll quickly show you my tassel this is a handmade uh, tassel and I've put it on a key ring at the minute just done with wire done with funky fibers and a little bit chain on there and i'll need to do a video on that as well because it is quite simple and what i was hoping to do is attach that to the spine on there i'm not sure if you can see it but i thought it could be very nice added like that sideways on it that was the idea for that so um as i said these are in here on they're actually in the machine, so I'm going to be as quick as I can when I'm doing it because not to hack on a lot. So with the machine you get the scalpel. I hope that's what it is. Let me see, quickly check. Sorry, spatula. <laughs> now that's used for flattening your paper here when you put it onto your mat. And I would do it, make sure you do it on a flat surface. Um, don't do it when it's in the machine. Well, you can if you want, but you'll get an even, more even um, feel and it'll stick down better. Now I've had this mat for quite a while now. Um, I got this oh, this machine, I think it was last Christmas. Um, so and it's been used and I've noticed my mat turns up at the corner so I've actually had to cut, I'll just bring it out and show you, I've actually cut the mat on the corners because it twirled so it curved up and it was no good. And when it and the other thing, the other wee tool that you'll need is a stylus and it comes with the machine there it's there. And some people call it, what do they call it, a touch pen that you can use, <coughs> excuse me, on the machine or you could use your finger. It's entirely up to yourself. Now just quickly about the mat, if it loses its stickiness, um, I've been using this and I've had it for quite a while because I've got a cricket as well and I used it on the mat for that um, CM spray mount. In the UK it was in Raymond's, Ryman's. Um, you can get it in arts and craft shops and it does last a long time so it might be worth checking out. Um, I've noticed recently that the lid of it has got a bit glued up um, with the spray. I've washed it under the tap and it's coming out a little bit, but I have had it for quite a few years, so 
I think it cost about 15 quid, but I suppose for that it's pretty good going. Right, so we'll quickly get on with this. I'm sorry if my hands are in the way because um, when I'm doing it, because my cam's got to come at an angle in order for you to see this. So obviously the first thing you're doing, put your paper on your mat, whatever you want to use. I always hold mine. You, and then you're pressing that to load. So either use your stylus or your finger. Now sometimes when mine goes in, if there's even the slightest bit of curl on it, it'll tell you not loaded properly and I need to press that button again, it brings it back out, flatten down my paper and try. Again, sometimes it took me three goes, just depends. So that's your paper in. Um, let's think, where are we going? Now I've got loaded patterns in here, but I don't want my loaded patterns. Well, there would be lots that would print out because I've done these shapes individually. So I'm going to this one. Then I'm going to frames and I'm going to look down them. Bet you I can't find it. <laughs> Typical. <laughs> going back. <laughs> Hold on. Wrong page. Oh, clipboard. Just dawned me. It's the clipboard with this. Let's. And see the, like this one here. So you decide what size you want. That's like a coat shape, isn't it? And I think 83 is too big, so I'm going to have mine about, let's say about 60. Just play about your sizes and see what you want. So I'll do one at 60, I'll do OK, press OK. Then I'm going to, are we going back? OK, let's set it. Oh, so if you want one, if you want to add more of the same one, you do OK, and you can do that to put up three, four, whatever. And that shows you on the page, they're quite big those ones. You know, for 60, it's showing you on the bit of paper. What I'm going to do, actually, is show you I don't want that one. Decided I don't want it. So this bit up in the corner, you press that and you go to trash bin. And we'll do an OK. And that gives us four of them at the top. So we're going to quickly print them out just to show you. So use your thing. Go OK. Go. You could save it if you want to. If you don't want to, don't. Just OK it. And then press cut. And then it'll process. And then you have to press the yellow button. I usually keep the fingers near it, not too close, just so that the paper doesn't go off set. Apologies for the noise, it'll be roughly about a minute with these. I just want to quickly show you. Um, and I keep the cutter, you know the, what's it called, number six, the pen holder is the bit that cuts it with the blade in it. And I have that at the minute, number six. Let's see if you're working on thick paper. I have noticed that sometimes it jumps, so you would need to take it out and maybe move it around depending on how thick cards you've got. This is not, not very thick card, so I probably could have had it at a lower um, cutting bit on it for the blade. But I'll just keep it at six, between six, six and a half, depending on the thickness of the paper, as I said, or card. So that's those four done, quite quickly, eh? and they were quite big, but I'm just going to, and that's to ejection mat so it brings it out and all you're doing is you can either use your spatula and um, to pick that up at the sides like that and pull back so quickly pull back and take it off and just go and quickly show you so i've just took for example i've just took the coat thing just to show you and that is what we got now it's big it's lovely as i would say so now i'm just going to get my card and quickly show you take these ones off that i had on it before and if you had that card decorated, for example, you could have that on the top just like that, or you could put and write something in there or something on the back as well. Now, if it was double sided, yeah, that'd be quite nice eh, when you turn it like that because there'd be something there, or you could just write something, ink the edges, um, you know, really is up to yourself. You could emboss this as well and make it bumpy, lumpy, whatever you want, or you could have it that way. I do much prefer it like that sign, so it makes you think, oh, there's something there, and when you lift off, there's something else. But it does look quite good, eh? So I'm going to quickly show you, as simple as that. Now, sorry, I've, I've jumped, whatever, from one to the other. I was going to show you, so when you, if you want to save it, fine, you just, you press the save on it, and it'll be stored inside your storage. If you don't, you press the middle, the house button there, and it says, OK to delete all patterns, yes. Now, I just wanted to quickly go into pattern again. It's at that, inside that one, and it's down to this. And it's the flip board. And there's, I hope you can, I'm not sure if you can see it. That's the different ones that you've got for cutting. Even the telephone. Don't know about that. 
don't think that's that. It might be, I've not tried it. Um, that's a plant, that's a wee person, a little bird, and there's a hen. An arrow pointing down there, excuse me. <clears throat> so there's various different ones. I was going to see if I had anything that I'd already previously cut out in my box just to let you see, but I'm seeing mostly coats and little birdies. Um, did I do, I'm sure I've done one, let me see if I can see it. So a smaller like coat thing on it and a little round coat there on it. Yep. So as I said, these can be used in various different things. Um, did this little junk journal, a uh, traveler's notebook come whatever at the minute and I've made these little paper clips with buttons etc on the top, just a little traveller's notebook and in something like that I've stamped inside it, I've got coffee stain papers and I'm just thinking when you come to a page like so you could put something like this in here so let me see what colour, white would be nice seeing as there's a pattern on that but like I said you could flip that in just like that, something like that on it um, entirely up to yourself and what else got there well there's a bit that would stand out you could put a little person in there there you go a little person on that so when you flip it over and you can, as I say I think that one anyway but it just adds some more interest really into it and ephemera or whatever into there I've got a little pocket in there but you could if there wasn't that and that you could do from the side bit let me see what could we put on this side let's get a vibrant colour so this could go there a little quote on the side, just just like that. And when the person hangs out, there could be something written or on the back written. So a few ideas. If you've got one of these, I would try it out. Okay. Thank you for watching. Bye. And if um, if you like any of those little paper clips, etc., I will be selling some of them on my Etsy shop. Minx Creations UK. There'll be a little link underneath on this video. Many thanks for watching. Have a good day. Bye.